In this video, I'm going to share some supplements and some practices that you can use to quickly recover from an ejaculation. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan White. I'm here to help you master your sexual energy so you can magnetize your ideal life. Make sure you grab my free ejaculation control guide through the link in the video description. So the dreaded post-nut syndrome. One minute you were super aroused, feeling good, having sex or whatever you were doing, and then you bust a nut, you're feeling tired, you're limp, you, you have to tap out, you know, you wanna take a nap, you feel exhausted, unmotivated, right? So how do you recover from that as quickly as possible, right? Maybe you're practicing seam retention, but you accidentally went over the edge uh, or, or purposefully, and you feel like you're, you've lost the benefits, you wanna regain them as quickly as possible. So I'm going to share with you some supplements and some different practices you can use to very quickly recharge from an ejaculation. So first of all, let's get a bit into what's happening uh, physically and energetically when you've ejaculated. Why is there such a shift in your state, right? Again, one minute you're highly charged with sexual energy, feeling great, feeling expansive. The next minute after you ejaculate, you feel deflated, you, know, you feel emptied, right? So on a physical level, there's hormonal changes that happen within the body. After an ejaculation, the body triggers the release of prolactin into your bloodstream. Prolactin is a hormone that suppresses testosterone. It's a very feminine hormone that causes you to feel lethargic, unmotivated, uh, even depressed. And you're also losing a lot of zinc when you ejaculate. The body suddenly loses this large supply of zinc, which can cause brain fog, a lack of clarity, a lack of motivation, depression, anxiety. So on a physical level, these are some of the changes that's happening you know, within the 10 seconds of having an ejaculation. On an energetic level, you're losing your vital essence, your life force, your jing, as it's known in Chinese medicine, jing is the physical essence of the body. It's what's creating you. So every time you ejaculate, you're dumping out this large supply of life force. Now, if it's every now and then, it's not a huge deal, but if you're doing this every single day, then you are basically emptying your bank account on a consistent basis. So how do we recharge from this? How do we recover? The most simple way is to take some supplements, eat some foods that will replenish your gene, your vital essence, and foods that will boost your testosterone and inhibit those levels of prolactin. Also foods that will help you to uh, build more semen, right? So you rebuild that sexual energy charge. So diet is very important. If you're eating a lot of junk, if you're eating processed foods, if you're eating a lot of sugar, uh, refined carbohydrates, you're gonna have higher levels of prolactin and it will be harder for you to recover from an ejaculation because you're already in this uh, sort of depleted state. So having proper diet is very, very important. You want to eat foods that are organic, foods that are natural, foods that are as close to the way they were, you know, when they were harvested as possible so that they still have their life force intact. When food's very processed, you know, it's put in boxes, it's frozen, whatever, it loses its life force. So you don't get any replenishment from these foods. So I'm going to share some superfoods that will help you to quickly recover your sexual energy. Number one, you want to take a zinc supplement. Zinc is very, very important for hormonal production. Again, when a man ejaculates, the body loses this large supply of zinc. So uh, it's really important that you take uh, a zinc supplement after ejaculating. I prefer to take chelated zinc or ionic zinc. And I'm gonna put links to the video description where you can get some of these supplements I'm going to mention, but zinc is really, really important. You want to make sure you're getting enough zinc every day to keep your testosterone levels high and to have healthy sperm production. Goji berries are a really amazing food. These are a common herb in Chinese medicine for boosting jing, boosting sexual energy. So you can either buy whole goji berries, you know, they're usually dried. Uh, you can buy goji powders, goji extracts, whatever, but goji berries are one of the number one foods for uh, boosting sexual potency and recovering from ejaculation. I have goji berries every day. Schizandra, this is another one that's very common in Chinese medicine. This is another berry and uh, it's a really, really amazing supplement. It builds gene, it builds sexual potency, and it tastes delicious. I like to make a tea of schizandra every morning. I have schizandra instead of coffee or instead of tea because it's very, very energizing, but without that excessive stimulation of caffeine, it nourishes your system and it's pretty inexpensive. So I like to buy fresh organic schizandra powder and just boil it in water for about 20 minutes and make a tea with it. I take about a teaspoon or two when I have it. Pine pollen and royal jelly. So these are products that come from bees and they're really, really powerful superfoods. Pine pollen is a nutrient dense superfood that will really boost your sexual energy and vitality. It's another supplement that I take 
quite frequently. I take about, I think about a teaspoon per day of pine pollen. Royal jelly is the substance that the bees feed their queen and it's what allows the queen bee to live, I think like 30 times longer than all the other bees. It's loaded with life force. These are really, really great supplements for replenishing your life force and recovering from ejaculation. Maca root, this is one of my go-to supplements. Maca root is amazing. It really boosts semen production for men. It boosts testosterone. Uh, it, it's really effective in improving fertility levels. So maca is a really great supplement to take uh, after an ejaculation or just in general if you want to boost your, your sexual desire, your sexual potency. I take about a tablespoon of maca every day. I'll either just mix it with water and, and slam it down or I'll put it in my smoothie in the morning. Mucuna is another great supplement. It contains L-DOPA, which is a precursor to dopamine. So it helps to balance out the dopamine levels, which can also inhibit the prolactin levels in your body. It's also been shown to boost the human growth hormone in the body. So I like to take about a quarter teaspoon of mucuna every morning. You don't need very much. It's a very cost-effective supplement. Hisho Wu, it's a very common Chinese herb for boosting sexual potency and rebuilding jing, which is very important after an ejaculation. It's often best when taken in combination with other Chinese herbs. So I like to take it in combination with schizandra and the goji berries that I already mentioned. Uh, there's also formulas. Uh, kidney yin formulas usually that have he shou wu within them. One that I really like is called shou wu formulation by Dragon Herbs, but there's lots of great products out there. But you want to be careful about the he shou wu that you're getting because some products are toxic actually. They've been shown to cause liver damage, so you want to get a reputable source. I really like Dragon Herbs. So it's great to have some he shou wu to boost your sexual vitality and recover from an ejaculation. So those are some really great supplements that will really boost your sexual vitality and help you to recover from ejaculation. Just some different lifestyle advice I wanna share with you. There's a lot of foods and uh, certain toxic things we're exposed to which inhibit our sexual vitality. So specifically foods which raise estrogen levels in men because they contain phytoestrogens and can cause all kinds of health issues and low libido and really feeling like you get your ass kicked after an ejaculation, soy. You want to avoid soy. So like tofu, you know, soy milk, things like that, soy protein. It's loaded with phytoestrogens and so it can cause hormonal imbalances to where you have high estrogen, low testosterone, which is not how you wanna be if you wanna be in your masculine power and have juicy sexual vitality. So I encourage you to avoid soy products. Fermented soy is okay because it gets rid of that phytoestrogen in the fermentation process. So tempeh, uh, miso, these are okay to have. I would avoid dairy, specifically milk and cheese. You know, it may be okay to have some of these in moderation, but overall understand that you're eating a product that comes from a pregnant cow, which is loaded with estrogen. And so that's what you're putting in your body. Butter is okay. Uh, butter is very, very good for you. I like to do grass fed butter, but you want to avoid uh, milk and cheese in general if you if you feel that you're in low sexual vitality. Artificial fragrances, so like body sprays, uh, soaps, body washes, shampoos here in the US, uh, pretty much everything you would see in the store, you know, cosmetics are loaded with chemicals. So you want to become aware of this. You want to do your research and see which chemicals are toxic to the human body. A lot of these uh, cause damage to your hormonal system and really, really take a toll on your vitality and health. So get familiar with the chemicals that are very commonly being put in cosmetics. And I recommend only using natural organic products on your body. Whatever you put on your skin is being absorbed into your bloodstream. So be careful of that. EMF radiation is becoming a huge problem in our world, especially as 5G is rolling out. One of the worst things you can do for your health and especially your sexual vitality is to carry a cell phone in your pocket because you're literally microwaving your balls, you're cooking your balls, it's very likely to cause reproductive harm as well as other health issues within your body. So if you have to keep your phone on you, make sure it's on airplane mode. Never put your phone in your pocket or carry it on your body unless it's on airplane mode. This is one of the greatest things you can do for your health. And shut your Wi-Fi router down at night if possible. Make sure you get some sunlight. Getting sunlight on your body is really, really important. You need vitamin D. So getting that natural sunlight helps you produce vitamin D, especially if you can get it straight on your genitals. It's been shown to boost testosterone by 200%. If you can't get full body sun or, or get sun regularly, then take a quality vitamin D supplement, but that's very, very important and will help you recover from ejaculation. Get out in the sun, get out in nature, and get some sun on your body. It'll charge you up. Testicle massage is very important. It helps to uh, speed up the production of semen, so you can just take your testicles between your fingers and just rub vigorously. 
uh, both directions. Do that for a few minutes and that will really improve your hormonal production and help you recover faster from ejaculation. And then finally, some practices you can do. Qigong is a really great practice. I have a playlist here on my YouTube channel of different Qigong routines that helps you to recharge directly by connecting to the life force, moving qi through the body. It's gonna help you to recharge after an ejaculation. So I definitely recommend having a Qigong practice. And then of course, allow yourself to rest. You know, it takes the body a bit of time to recover from an ejaculation. You take the supplements, do the practices I recommended, but make sure you get some rest and that will help you recover. Inevitably, it's gonna take, you know, a day or two to recover, but when you follow the advice I've given in this video, you can really, really speed up the recovery time when you have an ejaculation. So that's it guys, thank you. Make sure you check out the description for links to some of the supplements that I mentioned in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let me know in the comments below, what do you do to recover from an ejaculation? Have a great day, my friends.